Hello chaps, welcome to a rather wintry Mercia. The snow has just hit us and uh, it's coming down reasonably well. Uh, it seems to be sticking so we'll see how we crack on with that but I'm not overly convinced that we're going to have uh, a decent smattering of snow where the kids can get out and do some sledging and whatnot. <coughs> any rate, uh, this is what I want to talk to you about. Uh, it's my progress on the um, project that I'm doing for Congo. So um, these are the Hayden Hauer that I've done so far. The um, standard bearer here, he's just literally had his uh, flag glued on and um, is currently still wet. So that's why it looks a bit stiff and got white edges he'll be tidied up in a bit <clears throat> uh, I've got so I've got gone for four units of warriors uh, they have uh, five miniatures per unit in the game uh, there's two at the back that are uh, just built up and waiting to go and the reason for that is because you can take um, a unit that is uh, armed predominantly with swords and is uh, uh, a sort of hand-to-hand -hand specialist unit. So what I've done, I've put some um, swordsmen in with the spearmen. Uh, so what I've decided, so you can see two, sorry, so you can see two of them are already painted there. So what I've decided to do is build up a unit of five swordsmen and add two more spearmen into the back unit. So that then gives me a full four units here. Um, in the Zanzibar list, you get four, you get trained soldiers, and they come in fours. So what I've done here is uh, to depict that. I've done some of the Hayden Hauer, um, but without the um, full head of hair that gave them their uh, nickname from the British Tommies, the Fuzzy Wuzzies. Uh, later on, apparently in the Mardis Revolt, they'd started to shave their heads and um, become more in line with the what they call the Nile Arabs and um, so I've put those in uh, <clears throat> and as you can see as well well perhaps you can see um, I've done a few jibbers so the standard bearers wearing one and there's a couple if you can I don't know whether you can see it properly dotted around in the um, units themselves I just decided to do that in the end, just for add a little bit of colour. I haven't gone over the top with it, so it'll literally just be one or two. Um, the riflemen at the front here, they will have full jibbers on, just to mark them out from the rest for being a sort of specialised unit. Uh, the Mardists um, acquired a load of Remington rifles off the Egyptians that they beat um, during the early part of the campaign in... Uh, uh, 1883 I believe it was and uh, started to make good use of them and uh, certainly after the uh, Mahdi passed away and the Khalifa came to power they uh, had uh, were involved in a war with Abyssinia and um, one of the things that apparently the Abyssinians were fearful of was the riflemen so I thought well I'll, I'll put those in and um, I'm planning on another unit, but less well-trained of those. And um, with the Zanzibar list, if you're familiar with Congo, it doesn't include um, standard bearer. However, what I'm intending to do is take the uh, rules for certain characters and use them to depict characters in a Mardist army. And uh, essentially all it is is a name change. And just use the rules so that's how we're going to go i've got a um, very tiny order out with the perries that should be coming um, and uh, that will complete the whole force anyway that's where i'm up to guys at the moment it's been good fun um, just to let you know that they're predominantly painted with contrast paints like i said to you i'm not messing about with this project it's um, trying to get completed over the christmas period and uh, yeah, that's where I am. So I'm not far off from being done. Okay, guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye.